Well, it's a story as old as time. Cruise ships leaving at a certain time and people being late. But man, the last time I was in Cozumel just a couple days ago, it was out of control. I got a whole series of clips of pier runners being scorned and humiliated by other cruisers. They're just trying to get back on the ship, but I figured out who's to blame. You're gonna be surprised. And I also saw a cruise director do something I've never seen before. The scorn and ridicule of pier runners on today's episode. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to La Lira Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with a special episode today, a special episode all about pier running. I've got a variety of clips, and I, I tell you what, this has been the most scorning and jeering and humiliating I've ever seen. And again, like I said in the intro, I saw the cruise director do something completely wild that I've never seen a cruise director do before. And I got to give a quick shout out to my friend Brian Smokey Traveler for providing all of this excellent footage. Thank you, Brian. The setup is simple. We're going to do a few clips. I'm going to tell you why I think so many people were late on Cozumel Day. And then I'm going to show you the clips that really kind of blew my mind. So uh, let's just, what we'll start out with something simple. We've got people running the pier and people jeering and scorning them and humiliating them. Here, here's the clip. Oh, they're running. pretty tame just some cheers and some boos and some random words and well it gets a little more interesting as it goes on here's another clip of where the pitchforks are raised and the people are scorning those running the pier <laughs> two more tremendous clips for you but before I get there let me do a couple things first I'm going to tell you why I think everybody was late on Cozumel day and something you need to look out for as a cruiser but I also like to take a second to invite you to subscribe if you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising please consider subscribing with the notification bell on that way you don't miss out on any of these episodes well you want to know why people were late on Cozumel day Technology. I'm pretty sure it's technology. What I've seen more and more over the last couple of years is that the mobile phone companies, the cellular companies, have been really generous when it comes to international travel. And in almost every cruise port that I've gotten off this year, I've been able to turn on my cellular signal, gotten data from my cell phone provider, from T-Mobile, five gig at a time. Well, the challenge is when you go from airplane mode back to cellular mode, all the automatic stuff kicks in on your phone. And I think what happened on Cozumel Day is a lot of folks, they turned their phone on and the time on their phone changed. The time changed on so many people out there having a good time in Cozumel and the time shifted back one hour. It was one hour earlier in Cozumel than it was on ship. And uh, well, you gotta pay attention to ship time. So imagine that you're out there having your wonderful beach day and your clock changes and you don't know it and you look down and you're like, oh, we got a couple hours to get back. But then when you get to the pier, well, you didn't have a couple hours to get back and now you are a pier runner. I think that's what happened. There were some people left behind. I'll tell you the guesstimate of how many people were left behind in just a second. But first, let me show you the, let me show you the coup de gras when it comes to these pier running clips. Uh, how about getting ridiculed by a 1980s hair band? <laughs> That's right, it's the final countdown. Could you imagine running up the pier and hearing the final countdown? And then you, you've got, you know, pretty much standard to let you know that the ship is leaving. <laughs> That's 
right. The ship horn sounded, you are late, and of course you continue to get cheered and jeered. And as I promised, I saw the cruise director do something that I've never seen done before. I heard all in all a rumor that about eight people didn't even make it back to the ship, but I've never seen this before. This is from cruise director Lee's Facebook page, a clip that was captured by Coach Cruz. <laughs> That's right, Lee scurried down the pier, he picked up a little girl and brought her on board. Uh, I'll leave you with this simple question. Do you think the pier runners deserve what they get? Have you ever had your time change on your clock without you knowing it? Uh, yeah, have you ever been left behind? Uh, pretty interesting day in Cozumel. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. This is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.